I'm basically a dummy when it comes to financial things. I don't claim it as, as an area of expertise at all. Uh, economics is mostly beyond my ken. Um, and I can only barely understand what's happening with GameStop right now. Only on a very rudimentary level, I think, what's going on. <clears throat> but I do find something interesting about the way in which certain sectors of the media are now being deployed to, uh, to, I, I don't like the term gaslight, but I think it applies here, to gaslight um, the, uh, the ordinary citizens who chose to uh, buy stock in this company that uh, was being targeted essentially for destruction by the hedge fund managers who were shorting it out uh, or putting these these bets to short <clears throat> uh, the, the stock in uh, in uh, GameStop the company um, the way in which these these uh, ordinary people these ordinary citizens these non billionaires these non millionaires these non Wall Street affiliated people uh, are being framed in some sectors of the of the media as the bullies they're being framed as the big bad people who are doing big bad things who are who are up to no good and uh who are probably white supremacists and nazis and alt-right and, and all this kind of stuff and there was there was an article in cnn which i i normally don't go there but in this case i clicked over just to just to see the the ridiculousness of it uh in uh in all of its glory, which basically said this is the f uh, this is all about Trumpism, because because uh, Trump used populist anti-elite rhetoric, and so this is just an another extension of of Trumpism. Uh, that's what has what made these these uh, people at this uh, site Wall Street Bets. I guess it's the subreddit name. If they're still around, I don't know. Um, in this age of deplatforming, they're probably not going to be around for much longer. When when uh, the powerful target some group for destruction. Um, um, but in any case, uh, I, I see a parallel to between what happened there, what is happening in the attempt to frame this matter in this way. Not to say, uh, again, and again, I don't like to use the term gaslight because it, it's like a f emotionally freighted term. Uh, I try not to, you know, use, I, I try to be accurate and, and uh, you know, calm and, and uh, just call things for, for the way they are and not use terms that, that kind of rile up the, the you know, get the blood up. Uh, I think there's there's way too much, uh, you know, outrage, uh, outrage oriented uh, rhetoric right now, um, and a lot of it's you know more generates more heat than light. I would say in this case, however, the the effort to say uh, these billionaires, these hedge fund fund managers, these very wealthy, very powerful people. Who probably have the uh, uh, the Fed in their the Feds in their back pocket, you know these these people who probably run the world um, in one way or another or some corner corners of the world, some sectors of the world. Uh, that, that to say that they are being victimized here, and that uh, these um, these mostly anonymous non millionaire non billionaire people who just have chosen to uh, uh, to take the fight uh, to these uh, these people uh, they're being singled out as well, well one article uh, I just saw uh, called them reddit bros and, <clears throat> and every time <clears throat> you hear the word bros being b-r-o-s being used you know what you're in for you know that 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 uh, what they're going for when they use rhetoric like that, and, and it's it's completely dishonest. Uh, it's it shows it shows their hand. It shows 
the way in which they're trying to frame things. Um, and and uh, it's par for the course because the media is dishonest um, by and large uh, for the for the most part. Uh, and I've grown to loathe them more and more. But I, I see a parallel between that and what happened to me on YouTube uh, on my main channel. I was actually, and I talk about this in prior videos, you can look them up, prior videos that are here on my backup channel, which has become my main channel since my main channel was nuked after I got three strikes in quick succession for videos that I, uh, that were, you know, months, if not years old. But the, they, they accused me of cyber bullying. Like I, I did a video about James Gunn, a uh, powerful and influential Hollywood director, uh, and uh, and they said I was cyber bullying James Gunn, you know. Uh, and there was another one where where I talked about talked about uh, uh, I think uh, uh, John Podesta, and it was said that I was cyber bullying John Podesta. I mean, it was so um, on the face of it, 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 it was so ridiculous to think that somebody like me, with absolutely no power. Um, would be would be the cyber bully of people like James Gunn, John Podesta, and and uh, you know et al. Uh, who who uh, could hire a hitman to to kill me several times over, and uh, you know beat the rap easily with their lawyers. You know, um, I mean, it's just <laughs> the system is rigged, and then they try to uh, frame it so that you're the enemy or you are the bad guy you are the bully uh if you are one of the uh, if you're one of the poor buggers who isn't uh, uh on the high end of the of the hierarchy if you are a low status male like me so uh, there there's there's something uh just sort of revoltingly uh, familiar about this type of rhetoric that they're employing right now, the way they're trying to frame this, this whole thing. <clears throat> um, and, uh, that's all, that's all I have to say about it. I, I just was, in, it interested me, uh, and I found that I could relate to, uh, uh, what they're doing. And it's, it's sort of a, I mean, it's a really smelly, uh, way to go about your business, but on the other hand, it, it, it does show a certain type of desperation because it is very transparent. I mean, people are going to th read this and think, wait a minute, you're protecting Wall Street hedge funds? You're saying that they're being uh, put upon and victimized and, you know, I mean, most people, I, I mean... I'm not saying I have great faith in people, but I mean, that's, that's an incredibly hard case to make. I don't think that Wall Street hedge fund managers are, uh, I don't think they enjoy a lot of popularity <clears throat> amongst the, the bulk of the population, however, however they may think of themselves politically. So we'll be interested to see how that all plays out. Um, so I just was struck by the parallel, that's all. Thanks for watching. My name is Andy Nowicki. You, you can check out my work at altrightnovelist.com.